uh, start recording. Okay, thank you. So, uh, welcome again to our uh, organic session, no? Josh. And this time, we'll just continue yung ating um, problem set no? or practice set for Alki. So, last meeting, we ended up with number two, letter J. So, after uh, letter J, up to this point. No? So, this time, you'll just proceed K until O. So, I'm planning na magdagdag pa, no? Siguro next meeting natin, sagutan yun. Uh, more challenging uh, problems, I guess, for naming, no? Nomenclature. And then, we'll just proceed first. For now, we'll just proceed for uh, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, yeah. You may now start starting from letter K. Uh, uh, you L, have... L muna po ako parang. Yeah. I'll now share the Jamboard, ha? So, pwede mo naman ilagay sa Jamboard yung uh, sagot. So, wait. Anyway, this is letter K. This is letter L, M, and O. So, if you will notice, yung K is... um an abomination. You know, it's an alkane, but it now has rings, no? So, so last, last meeting naman may mga rings sa tayo. However, wala pa yung complicated naming ng rings, no? Or cycloalkanes. Uh, then down L down to O, you now have bicyclo, no? Bicycloalkanes. So, hopefully, you can still recall on how to name them. Then for number three, four, five, these are um skills no needed to be familiar with um uh, alkanes and how do we properly uh name them, draw them. Okay, so more on ano, uh testing the skills, uh your skills for alkane structures. Okay, so I'll stop sharing and then you now share your uh I'll be sharing our jamboard. Ayan. Pakikita ko siya agad. What happened mo? I don't know. Baka bigla na po na naisip na, na ng Jamboard pa. I will be nice to be. Mm -mm. Check ko kaya yung Jamboard natin sa Anakim. <laughs> Let me check that. Okay, go ahead lang. O, oh, asa na yung ano mo? You start with letter K. Mag-muna mo. Okay, okay. Sige. Madali lang kasi yan eh. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll see our analytical chemistry. Ilalabas ko nga yung jump word natin sa ano. Ano kayo? Nag-load na yung problem. Yeah, nakaka-5 frames sa pala tayo dito sa analytical. Then for organic, this, is, this one is our first one. <clears throat> hmm? So, let me check. Yeah. What I'm seeing now is our Jamboard. <clears throat> Aba, mukhang nag-ready, ah. <laughs> Nga mo. Sige, next mo lang for the other items. Okay, sige. You can also uh, number them. mong babawi ah
or if you're done with the ano ha you can just proceed okay yes okay you're now in letter o Okay, Josh. Uh, continue mo lang ha. I'll be uh, going lang to the comfort room. Uh, but then, uh, once you're done with letter K, I know you're now in letter... Ayan, nag-share screen ulit ako kasi ng bago. I know you're now in letter uh, <clears throat> O. No, sa Jamboard. I'm not mistaken. Okay. Ah, ayun na. You're now in letter K. Once you're done with uh, the five items remaining for nomenclature, you go directly to number... Uh, the one I'm sharing right now, it's number three, if I'm getting... <clears throat> yeah, number three. So for number three, just to uh, give you an idea, what you need to do here is you need to write a bond line formula for each of the following compounds, it's uh, six compounds are given, A to F. Uh, you just write a bond line formula or their structure. No? So this time, um, the name is given, you need to provide the structure. Because for number two, you have uh, the structure and then you need to provide the, the name. Okay? So okay. submit lang.
Uh, by the way, Josh, tomorrow, Thursday, we'll not have a session. We'll oh. have our orga, uh, analytical chemistry on Friday. But on Friday, we'll have uh, three hours. Okay? Just okay. to compensate you, ano, uh, just to compensate um, the previous meeting.
Ta da, yung bong. Uh, we're good na? No bong. Okay. Sige, let's uh, check this one first. No? Okay, so yeah. For this one is letter L. So for letter L, uh, this one is a bicyclo. So ang rule is um, you name first uh, pag nag ano ka, uh, number hanapin mo yung mas malaking ring. No? That will be uh, the number ring. So uh, I have this one. So, you start from the bridgehead atom. So, which one is your bridgehead? So, ito yun, no? Yan. Ito at saka ito. Right? So, this one is the bigger ring. So, dito ang either 1, 2, 3. Either 1 or dito yun, no? 1 or 2. Uh, either yung 1 mo, it's either here or here. Since you don't have any substituent to decide, wala naman. And then the rule is, you need to start dun sa bigger ring. So, ito ang 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, wala naman tayong problem dito. So, kung i-drawing natin, can you draw this one, Josh, na 2D lang? Kasi ito ay 3D eh. I don't Para know. we can... Hmm? You can do that. Diba parang lang, connect the dots yan. Uh, I, I need, I need, I need, ano ba? I need to master the, master the strength to draw a perfect heptagon. Ayan. No, no, no need. So, so parang ganito siya. I have a better idea mo. I have a, wait lang mo. Ito mo. I have a better idea. Ito mo. Wait lang mo. Tapos, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 here. 1. So, paano mo yan niya? Ano? Aking connect the dots lang talaga eh. Ganyan, ganito, ganito, ganyan. See, now it looks very, very professional. <laughs> yan. This is how it looks like. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pwede din yan. Yun! Yep, yep. That's one better. Sige. I'll delete mine. Okay. So, because we can clearly see here the bigger ring, no? So, one, two, three. Correct. So, three ito. Then, the smaller ring, one, two. Ah, sorry. 1, 2. Okay? So, ito yun. And then, how many carbon atoms are within the, between the bridgehead atoms? So, isa lang naman. So, 3, 2, 1. And then, count the whole ring, no? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No? So, 8 carbon atoms ang involved for the bicyclic or bicycloalkane. So, that will be octane. But since this is a bicyclo, so we add bicyclo 3 to 1, cy uh, bicyclo 3 to 1 octane. Okay, so this is correct. So ang letter L, correct. Wow, <laughs> babawi talaga. <laughs> okay. I... Yeah. Next, we'll now have uh, letter L. So similarly for letter M rather, so since you have equal size of rings, no? so either kung saan ka mag start However, one side of your ring has a substituent. So dun ka talaga mag start So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's still octane. And this time it's 2, 2, 2. And then... Uh, you have a substituent at carbon 2. So, correct. 2 methyl bicyclo 2, 2, 2 octane. This is correct. Yeah. Bicyclo octane. 2 points ka na. And then, we now proceed with uh, huh? letter N. So, for letter N, you have uh, how many rings ito? Uh, 
uh, how many carbon atoms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. <clears throat> oh, seven ito. Dapat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. O oh, Josh, drawingan mo nga itong si letter N ng 2D. Parang ito din yan. Ano po, may extra na na po tagdan. Yung key letter K po, please join sa BD. Oh no. <laughs> Parang ganito din yan. This is for letter N. Right? Kasi 3, ah, 1 ring lang pala. Ah, one, 1 carbon atom lang sa other side. Sige, go ahead. Hindi, one lang eh. Ah, that's letter M. I'm asking for letter N. Yeah, this is letter M. Yeah, this one is M. <clears throat> wag yaan, wag, wag yaan. Masyadong mas, masikip. Dito oh. You can place it here. It's more than that. Yes. Sige. Go, go, go. Continue. <clears throat> Tatlo yan, Josh. Ayan, no? Tatlo sa bigger ring. Hmm? Okay. Sige, pwede naman. Tapos, magbe-bridge head ka. Oh. No, letter N. Dito po na masking for letter N. Dito po. Ah, okay. One, two, three. Ah, uh, you have a substituent dun sa bigger ring. Ayan. Tapos, ito. Numberan mo nga yan. How do you number, ano, by cyclic? Oh? oh okay, gets. Kung sa bagay, pwede naman nga din. Para at least, siya yung lower. Oh, gets, gets, gets naman kita dyan. <clears throat> Mm, yeah, gets. Okay. Hmm. Hey, this one is intriguing, ha? Kasi pwede nga naman, di ba, you can actually number this one, Josh, into two way. So, di ba, ito na yung carbon 5 mo. It's either your carbon 6 is here or here, right? Bakit nandito sa taas yung 6 mo? Why not? Why not? The seventh one will become the sixth, uh, sixth position. Para siya po yung substituent will get the lower number. Good. Okay. So the substituent will get the lower locant number. So which is six, no? So unlike kung, kung gagawin mong six, si seven, magiging seventh carbon na ngayon yung number six currently. And then there will be substituents there, methyl and ethyl, no? So this one is, let's just rearrange this. Uh -huh. Six ethyl, good. Then you have three and six uh, metal groups at positions three and six. Then, ayun. Ako, mamali ang kita dito ha. Ah? Why are you adding ano pala? Minus ano to? 0.25. Sorry. <laughs> You don't add ano uh, nga to? Hyphen. Hindi yan. Unhyphenated yan. Dikit-dikit sila. It's like you're writing cycloalkanes. Diba? Let, let's say dimethyl cyclo oh, cycloalkane. What are you? No. <laughs> this is actually correct. So this is 3, 1, 1. Good. So 3, 1, 1. Uh, Yes, D11 cycloheptane <clears throat> by cycloheptane. 
by cycle of P11 heptane. So, 0 0.75. Wala yan, ha? You don't add hyphen there. Okay, sige. Next, let's go now to... Uh, ay, ako pala. <laughs> Letter O. Ay, oba, wala na to. Uh. Ba't na wala to, Josh? Wala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ito. At least ito wala. Yeah. So, this six... Ah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, this will become 2,6-dimethyl by cyclooctane. So, 3, 2, 1. So, uh, walang problem dito because we'll just uh, name it, no? So, ang numbering natin ay correct naman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8 yung uh, carbon between the bridgehead atoms. That's correct, no? So, you have uh, correct din ito. Josh, bakit hindi si carbon 5 yung carbon 1? Yun muna. That's my first question. Why is carbon 5 not carbon 1? Or your position 1? Hmm... So what's your priority? Giving the no the lowest number. Long, longest. Longest. Where, okay, good. Your priority is um go first to the bigger ring. So kung bigger ring ka, so it's here, right? So kasi you can also start one here and then you go you give two here. However, this one is the smaller ring. So you need to go here first, a bigger ring, no. And then, place your one here so that you can give the lowest possible number for this metal group here. So, one, two. Kasi kung dito, one, two, three, four. So, it will have the fourth uh, position. So, this is correct. Two, six, dimethyl, bicyclo. Okay. Okay. So, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct. Bicyclo. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Then finally, for, <laughs> ayan, i-check natin kung, kung ano to ha. Actually, this is intriguing kasi ka, personally, kahit ako, no, kasi ako gumawa nitong problem, niisip ko kung paano natin siya ininim, but <clears throat> uh, what's our general rule for this? <clears throat> Yes, Josh, how do we name ano, cycloalkanes? Mm. What's the major rule? Another one, for what? For your cycloalkanes, name it. Correct, you identified. Then ito, isa pa dapat po yung longest. Okay, which is si cyclo cyclohexane nga, parent mo yan. That's correct. However, if you, have, if you now have a cycloalkane, what will be the numbering? What is the rule for numbering? <clears throat> yes, what is the rule for numbering? Uh, <laughs> What's uh, the rule for numbering? Mm -hmm. Now, first and all, the one goes to the other. Lowest substituents for a lowest number for all substituents. The one goes to what? The smallest substituent? Ganon? Hindi mo. The one will start sa ano, para to get the lowest, the lowest number for each substituent. The, the... <laughs> Hindi. One actually goes to alphabetical. Alphabetically arranged lang. So, which one will go uh, the the position 1 will have the nearest sa letter A. No? Alphabetically arranged lang sila. So, with that, sige, check na. <laughs> with that, yung hindi, ah, di ka sure. With that, let's check, no, kung tama yung mga naming mo ng substituent. So, this one is what? Anong substituent to? Isobutyl. Very good, correct. How about this one? Third butyl. That's actually correct. And then this one is also correct. Yeah. Sec-butyl, correct yan. 
this is cyclo cyclobutyl and this one is a very a more complicated na uh substituent and actually you you got it right that's two isopropyl 1 3-dimethyl butyl that's the name of the oh, of this substituent oi oh, tama tama ka diyan 2-methyl asan ah, yan uh, two isopropyl 1-3-dimethyl butyl that's the name of that uh big substituent here or a complicated substituent However, <laughs> however, arranging them alphabetically, do we include sec third in alphab... Okay, hindi. Good. So, eh, di laban na muna to, no? Third and butyl, ah. Third and sec. Kasi pare silang B, eh. How about cyclo? Do we include them in alphabetical arrangement? Lahat kasi sila butyl, eh. Yung tignan mo, challenging. Butyl, butyl, butyl. Butyl, butyl. Right? So, that's good. You know that sec and third, they are not considered when arranging the substituents alphabetically. How about cyclo? Yes. Kumar, ayan, cyclobutyl. Yes. So, letter C na to. No? So, hindi mo na yan ikokontest kasi letter C na siya eh. So, so far, laban pa rin ni third and ni sec. How about iso? Do we include ISO in alphabetical arrangement of substituents? Yes. yes. Correct. So, letter I siya. So, it boils down to third and sec. So, sino dapat ang number one? Sec. Correct. Oh, I-rearrange mo siya. I'll give you, since this one is complicated, no? this is two points, I'll give you one point for this. Kasi oh. yung arrangement lang ng numbers yung mali mo. Oh, sige. I, ano mo ulit? I, I, give, give me now the correct uh, positioning. Actually, mag-iiba lang dyan yung mga numbers. Sige, Josh. By the way pala, Josh, ha? Di ba complicated ito, ito, ito? Yung complicated substituent mo. Anong gagamitin mo dyan letter? I saw problem. Good. The one appearing first. So, ayun siya. Hindi ito ha. Kasi iniisip natin, baka yung parent din yung magiging ano. Ito o oh, si butane. Siya yung magiging letter. Hindi. Yung unang-unang nag appear dun sa substituent. Oh, sino? Bakit one si cyclobutyl? You mentioned, you mentioned it already. Yung cyclob po yung C before I. Oh. But you have B before C. Di ba hindi kasama ang third and sec? Oh, okay. So, mm. no so si sinong mauuna? Sec or third? Ayan, good. Okay. Bakit hindi papuntang sa kabila? Let's say papuntang so, cyclobutane. Okay, well, next. Okay. Yeah, pwede. Mm -mm. Kasi third butyl yung susunod sa letter. Magbabago lang yung mga numbers dyan. So, hindi na to si cyclobutyl. Right? This is over two. What's the number? Yan, tama yung pagkakanumber mo. Tama na yung pagkakanumber mo, Josh. Okay, good. 3, okay. 6, cyclobutyl. 3, isobutyl. 5, 2, isopropyl 1, 3-dimethylbutyl. Then, dash, 1, secbutyl. Dash, 2, third butyl. Uh, cyclohexate. This is correct. Okay. Wow, congrats. Ang dami mong natama ngayon. Ah, Ito, tama mo din pa siya. Siyempre. Check ko lang ha. So, this is over 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 points. Over 6 points, you have 1, 2.5, <clears throat> 3.5, 4.5. So, 4.5 over 6 ka. Record ko lang muna ha. Uh -huh. 4.5 over 6. This is a good score na. So, you now go to number 3. Ayan. So, for number three, 
uh, we are asked, let me share first the, uh, ano, uh, saan nga yung ano natin? All kings, all kings, where is that? Eto. Yan. This is for number three. What you need to do here is eto lang. Uh, okay. the, the, na the names are given, you just need to draw them. I mm. think this is easier than uh, name. Actually, correct. Mm. Ako din, mas gusto ko yung binigay na yung name and then uh, idodraw na lang natin siya. Or minsan may challenge din dyan. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Oy, lagyan mo lang ng number ha. This is number 3 already. 3A, 3B, etc. Mas sa document mo? <clears throat> hmm? Text po yung ginamit mo sa document. Yeah, mm -mm. sige. Ah, sige. I'll give you siguro two minutes. Kayang-kaya mo na yan. <laughs> The client. Oh, Five, Two, three, four, five, six.
you can also place there D, E, F. Diba? Six lang naman yan. Right? Tama ba ako? Six compounds. Yeah. I think you can you can include there D, E, F.
Yes, possible ba? Hindi yata mo. Pwede ba po yung not possible? Or what? Ano <clears throat> mo? D. Letter D? Oh, eh, di check natin. Sige, draw it first.
Okay, so let's check. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Ah, no, this is number three, right? Okay. Uh huh. Let's start first with this one. Let me check kung tama naman yung picture ko. Yep. Okay. So, write a band line formula for each of the following. So, the first one is 6 isopropyl 2 3 dimethyl nonane. So, uh, to do this, Josh, it's like uh, you're, you're building yung, yung strategy natin dito. Um, you can have a dots nga and then connect it lang until you form the longest chain. And then just place your substituent. So, you can have here one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, six, and then seven, and then eight, and then nine. Okay, so this is your number one. So at carbon two and three, you have the uh, dimethyl, uh, you have the metal groups. Then four, five, six, you now have the isopropyl. So this is correct. So one point for this one. For letter B, your longest chain is heptane. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 6 and then this is 7 uh, position. So at carbon 2, 4, and 5, you have the metal groups. 2, 4, and then uh, 5th. Okay, check. And then at carbon four, you have thou then isopropyl. You can also have uh this way, Josh. Pwedeng yung yung eto, mabubura ko ba to? Ayan, binubura ko siya, Josh. Ah. Pwede mo siyang ilagay din na ganito, Josh. Ayan, igaganyan mo siya. Ayan. Tapos, yung isopropyl mo, 
tutuwid na siya. Okay? Like this. Ayan. Ayan. Tingnan mo, Josh. Ayan. This is a, another way of representing your letter B. Instead na magkasabay silang gaton. So, pwede din yan. So, this is also correct. So, so far, two points ka na. And then, so, for letter C, we have a uh, trans one-third betyl for ethyl cyclohexane. So, this is your cyclohexane. Uh, cyclohexane. And then, uh, one-third betyl daw mo una. So, this is the one. Then, two, three, four. Okay? For ethyl. Okay. So, dahil trans sila, Okay, nice. You actually made a uh, <laughs> chair confirmation. Eh, paano kung flattering lang yung Hayward projection, Josh? Kasi ito ay chair, eh. Right? No, no. And, and this is actually correct kasi trans sila. So, and they are both occupying what positions? Para masabi mong trans. Correct, because the third vitil is oriented upward or above the ring and then the ethyl group is oriented below the ring. So, transient sila. Yes, can you try to illustrate this one, Josh, using the Hayward structure? Yung Hayward, para siyang uh, plate lang na naka-flat, then meron kang uh, wedge like this. Ah, sorry. Yeah, parang ganito siya, Joshua. Parang yung glucose mo. Yep. Ganyan. Tapos, naka-wedge to. Yan, ganyan, ganyan. Then, show me the... Correct. Show me the transversion of the two substituents there. Yan, tama yan. You're doing it uh, correctly. Okay? So, this is another way. Ah, hindi. Pag ganyan, Josh, as in talagang arrow down, arrow up siya. Or yung bond mo mismo ay arrow. Ah, ayan, ganyan. Kitang-kita kasi siya. Okay, good. <laughs> Check. Yeah. Kasi this is a better representation to easily draw this one. But the correct way is, of course, using the chair conformation. No? So we'll deal about chair conformation more no, sa mga next problems. Let's proceed to number a letter D to F. So, I'm not really sure why are you telling me that this one is not proper, no? So, kasi if we will draw this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then this is 6, then 7, and then 8. So, and then we have 2, 2, correct? 6, 6, and then 7. 7, pentametal octane. Why, bakit mo nasabi kanina na hindi to allowed? Can you find another ano, name for this or longest chain? I think this is properly named. Hindi mo naman pwedeng ilagay dito ang 1, right? X ito. Because it will only give you one metal group at carbon 2. So, for the... Uh, if your number 1 is here, maganda naman siya kasi 2-2 two, two ka agad, no? Dalawang metal groups yung nandoon. So actually you you ang question naman dito ay kung tama ba yung pagdrawing so tama yan. Cyclopentyl cyclopentane. Correct. <laughs> this is the uh, illustration. And then 7 metal by cyclo 221 heptane. This is also correct, no? So 1 2 then the dito yung 1 uh then you have a metal group at Carbon 7. So this this will be the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have a fifth one here, then the 6, and then this is the 7. 
okay for number three. Perfect yung scores, uh, score mo, no? So, six points yung lahat. Then, here comes the challenge. Ito yung sinasabi mo kanina. Parang ganyan siya. Okay, ito ha. Ayan. Okay, bumalik ka na, Josh. Uh, what can you see in my screen? Mga ano ba? Yeah, uh-uh. Number four. This is for number four. Each of the following IUPAC names is incorrect. So, they are all incorrect. Yung names na to ay incorrect, no? Explain why it is incorrect and give me the correct IUPAC name. This is what I'm thinking kanina, no? Yung tingin mo, itong si letter D. Tingin mo mali yung pagpapangalan sa kanya. In fact, tama yan. Ito, si A to D, yung four compounds sa to, wrong talaga yung name sila, no? So, bakit kaya? And then, propose the, or give me the correct IUPAC name. Okay? So, I'll stop sharing Josh, or I'll be sharing our Jamboard again. Then do now number four. So for number four, that will be uh, two points each. Kasi may explanation and then nandun pa yung line band structure niya. Tapos ibibigay mo pa yung correct uh, UPAC name. No? Sige, go ahead, Jo. Uh, you can... Uh, you can add another frame for number four na. Please, ano ha, pa include Josh no? 4A, B, C, etc. We do that.
Josh, CR lang ulit ako. Ayun mo. Ayaw nang nag-show up, hindi ko nag-show up. Okay, so for compounds, yan.
Josh for letter B, uh, paki-drawing kung nasaan yung mga ethyl. Ay, ethyl to rin, yung methyl. Kasi it looks like you have number 4 and 2. May metal groups. letter B meron kang dun, dun sa blue numbering mo meron kang parang metal group dito is this correct? I mean part ba siya? Lobo. hello yung letter B mo ito nga bo ayan May metal group ba dyan? Hindi po ako nang lagin. Ah, ayan. Okay. Nag-sync na. I-refresh ko. Okay, yeah. Sige, sige. Sinecheck ko na rin yung answer mo. So, for letter A, uh -huh. so, we have two methyl, two isopropyl heptane. No? So, you just draw this. No? Pag, pag ganito yung problem, Josh, ang strategy is draw it first. So, ayan. Um, heptane, no? So, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay. And then, meron daw methyl sa carbon two and isopropyl sa carbon two. Correct din ito, no? So, parang kung titignan mo naman, hala, tama naman, ah. Two methyl, two isopropyl. But, this is not in alphabetical order. So, correct. Two points ka dito. So, the name should be 2-isopropyl, 2-methyl heptane. Okay? So, this one is, itong letter B, honestly, parang need ko to i-review ha. Kasi, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you always prioritize letters. No? So, alphabetical. So, dapat mauna talaga si E before the methyl. So, the numbering is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, it will give you 1 ethyl, 2, 6 dimethyl, cycloheptane. No? So, this one looks like correct. However, it makes sense. Yung, yung, kung, kung mali ito, Josh, no? ibig sabihin, may tamang numbering. And your numbering uh, really makes sense. No? So, yung 1 dapat, yung metal na isang, yung isang metal, then 2, Carbon 2 ngayon si ethyl. Then 3, 4. Fourth ngayon yung isa mong metal group. So the name should be 2-ethyl, 1-4-dimethyl cycloheptane. I'll check this one. Okay? So baka naman kasi tama siya. <laughs> so, iniisip ko tama ito dapat kasi ang ethyl mo ay number 1. Ang priority mo for cycloalkanes ay uh, alphabetical order. So, check ko din yan. Let's proceed now with uh, letter C muna. So, for letter C, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so, oh, may octane ka na. 
And then carbon 5 daw and 6, you have 3 methyl groups there. So 5, 5, 6. So ang mali dito ay, ayun, numbering does not prioritize lower numbers. Correct, no? So to easily check this, Josh, check the sum. So what's the sum of this one? 16, right? Mama. Pero with your propose um with your propose name what will be the sum for this one mm, yung propose mo kasi dun easily you easily you can identify which one is correct eh. what's your propose uh sum yung propose name mo ano yung sum niya uh this one. Three four four is uh three less than yung kanina. <laughs> Wait ako. Uh, ano, uh, one, na ano? Ah, ano? Eleven. Nagka, Correct. Nagka so, part. Ano so kitang kita mo ngayon na, ah, okay, eleven is lower than sixteen. So, this is the correct name. Okay? So, dito, dun sa letter B, it may, ah, uh, ito yung sinasabi ko sa'yo kanina. It makes sense because, 1, 2, 6 will give you 9, right? Yan yung total eh. 1, 2, 6. 9 yan. Pero yung sa new name mo, 2, 1, 4, it will only give you 7. Yan yung sum, no? Kaya magkaka-make sense to. Pero i-check ko to ha. Hindi mo naman ito buburahin definitely. So, check natin yan. So, meron tayong, uh, ilonote ko yung letter B mamaya na ano. Uh, may problem pa doon. So, for letter D, so you need to have hexane first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct? And then, sa carbon 3 down, may butyl. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, 2, 2. Uh, 2 metal groups at carbon 2. Correct? And basically, if we will look then sa structure, it looks like we've already given the correct name. However, not the longest chain yung parent. No? So, the correct Longest chain should be heptane. So, ang name dapat ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ay, parang 8 yung sa'yo dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Josh, i-check mo. Hala, mali ka. Octane dapat ito. 1, 2, 3, 4. Heptane ang sinulat mo. So, ayan. This should be heptane. Yeah. O oh, ayan, mali ka tuloy dito. <laughs> ayan o, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, a carbon 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Mali din yung numbering mo, number 5. So, nag-start ka dun sa kabila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's supposed to be, the answer should be 4, third butyl octane. No? So, I'll just give you one point here. So, so far, you have five points over six. So, meron pa tayong two points na five over six. Letter B uh, for confirmation. Okay. So, we'll go back to letter B sa next organic uh, session natin. Okay. We still have time, Josh, no? 709 pa lang naman. We'll now proceed with number 5. So, let me go first dun sa number 5, ba? Ayan. Can you now see my, ano, a screen, Josh? Tana? Labo. Number okay, 5. Okay, good. So, for number 5, hindi mo na natin uh, gagawin lahat, ha? Kasi ang dami nito. Actually, sobrang dami nung number 5. Medyo mahaba yan, no? We'll just do first letter by letter. Let's start first with uh, A. 5A muna. So, anong need mong gawin dito sa number 5? So, for number 5, draw all the band line formulas and give the IUPAC systematic name for all of the isomers of the following alkene. So, yung A to F, 
meron kang formula. So, for example, ha, for letter A, C5H10, you need to draw all the alkenes there. Yung isomers niya, no? And give their IUPAC name. Then, for letter A, you ignore compounds with double bonds. Kasi wala pa naman tayong alkenes, eh, no? So, we're, we're not yet uh, tackling or discussing alkenes. So, what you need to propose, all isomers of C5H10 having single bonds. All single bonds. Alkenes lang muna. Okay. We'll go first with 5A. Yan. Sige. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, you know, draw your isomers in our jamboard. You just create another frame. 5A muna tayo, ha? 5A. Mm, Roll bond line formulas. For all of the isomers? Mm -mm. But this one is C5H10. Oy, yung, yung iba naman, yung iba naman dyan, maliliit pa nga yan eh. Tignan mo, maliliit yan na compound, C5H10. Pinakamalaki mo na F. Pero, however, tignan mo yung F. Uh, may mga conditions na. Like yung C, D, E, F, may conditions. Okay? So sa A, parang lahat. Everything that you can think of, all isomers of C5H10. However, it's C5H10. So, check mo yung formula. Ano yung formula, Josh? What can you say about the C and H relationship? Hmm. Check mo. What can you say about the C and H relationship? C5H10. Number of carbons and number of hydrogen. It follows what? Ah, uh, yung ano C po, 2N. CN, para siyang CN, H2. 2N. Huh? CN, CN, H2N. H2N. Correct. Mm -mm. So, yung... Uh, ano, ano yung... ulit formula ng alkanes? 2N2 plus... 2N2 plus 2 plata po yung H. Yeah, 2N2 plus 2 for hydrogen, no? Kung yun ay open chain, di ba? Open chain siya. Pero kung right. close... Kapalang po siya. Mm, okay. Hindi ko alam. O oh, sige. Yung mga iba po, hindi bawal mm. din pa yung ma-alkin. Hmm? Yung mga iba po, bawal din pa yung mga may double bonds, double bonds. Ah, ah, bawal, bawal muna yung may double bonds kasi we're not yet done with alkins eh. So, just draw all alkins that you can think of. Pwede po yung mga imaginary compounds. We'll see. I'll, I'll assess yung imaginary compounds mo.
Malin, sige, five, it's fair. Hmm. Siyempre, cyclopentin. Meron ba pong extra points kung may nahanap mo kung may iba? We'll see. <laughs> Dapat meron ba? Pwede mo pong lagi, lagi ko po sila ng mamaliit ng mga spike to represent hydrogen, hydrogen for now. Yeah, pwede. Pwede naman. It's up to you. Uh, we'll see. Yung smaller spikes means uh, hydrogen naman, right? No, no. So, para po sila ng mga yung frutas ko. Go ahead. We'll see. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then... Eh, kasi may air fuel, so hindi na naman may fuel work. 1, 2, 3. Tama, away. Uh, what about yung ano mo, mga stereoisomer? Uh, if you can, you may, you may include them.
Enggak lah, Bang. Ah, wait lang dyan siya. You're good? Apo. Okay, let me check first your work. Ayan. <laughs> ah, nice. Sige, let's see. Uh, C5H10. So, this is the strategy, Joshua, for, for this one. Uh, dito muna tayo. Okay, C5H10. Ang strategy dito, Josh, is if you have a formula, you try to analyze first which functional groups you can draw or you can have. Since this one is C5H10, we can clearly see this is CNH2N, right? So, CNH2N. So, you'll have an idea that this one can be... Uh, actually, ako ang idea ko kaga dito. Pwedeng altin ito. No? So, isang single bond lang so that it will become CNH2N or an alkene pero cyclic, cycloalkene. So, correct. One yun, automatic cyclopentane and then, of course, cyclobutane na may isang methyl group. So, of course, you can also have uh, cyclopropane no? na may dalawang methyl groups na nasa isang number, so tama ito, or cyclopropane na ganyan. Okay? Hmm. Okay, then 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we can also have a cyclopropane. Tama ito. Tama din ko, Josh, yung 5, 6, 7 mo. No? The, which will have different uh which will have different uh spatial isomers or stereo isomers i have a question josh paano nag-iba si 5 and si 7 anong difference ng 5 and 7 hindi po sila pwede you know, sa hindi di ka di ka uh superimpose ang 5 and 7 oh wow. Dalawang metal groups ito, ha? Abo, they can be superimposed. Hindi na, i-rotate ko. So, bababa yun dito. Ito mo, rotate ko po, ha? Para hangin. So, si, okay. Ito mo, yan. Pupunta. Hindi ba po? Kasi this will be the cis-trans uh, dimethyl cyclopropane. Cis-trans 1,2 dimethyl cyclopropane. Kasi pwede mong i-flip yan, di ba? May i-flip mo pa. I-flip mo nga yung 5. Di ba pag nearing flip mo yung 5, it will give you the same 7. Hmm, di ba? Same compound yan. Don't worry, wala, wala namang ano dito eh. Wala ka namang magkakamali dito kasi sinobrahan mo lang yung drawing. Iyan mo. Ah. The master of all proteins. <laughs> pag pag ring clip mo yung five, Actually, 7 yung mapuproduce mo. Mm, okay. Hindi eh, ganun. Yeah, same compound lang. Sis and trans lang yan. Sis and trans lang. Yung, yung dalawang ano. Uh, two, <coughs> two metal groups for cyclopropane. And then, of course, you, you also have yung third one, ethyl group yung substituent. These are all correct. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 points ito. <coughs> Wala. May kulang ka. Alam mo kung ano yung kulang mo? What's your ano? 
for this item. If I wait, hindi, No. Hindi mo binigay yung mga names nila. Oh, Ayan well. mo. O, isulat mo muna yung mga names. Okay. Wait. Sige. Yan. Oh, met- metal cyclobutyl? <laughs> okay. Ethyl, correct. Of course, I know we, you can easily name this. This compounds, no? Okay, 1,1 one, one dimethyl. Can we have 1,3 dimethyl, ano? Cyclopropane? Hindi po kasi this is 1,2. Okay, very good. However, yung 1,2 dimethyl cyclopropane mo, magkakaroon ng two stereoisomers. The cis and trans. Very good. So, ayan. 5 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 nga eh. Sorry. 6 points ito. Should be 6. Basically, yung so far pa yung hand ko po success is by, ano, by like that. So, you now have CH18. What's the formula for this? CNH what? So, 8 times 2, 16 plus 2, 18. So, 2N plus 2 ito. Right? No. Okay. So you'll have an idea, this is an alkene without any double bonds and open chain siya. Walang ring, no? Kasi si H2N plus 2 eh. No, bro. So kahit B.1 lang muna, Josh. Give me all, kasi ano, we're running out of time then. Si H18, lahat ng may metal substituents. Kahit B.1 lang. So, please write B.1. Sige mo. Lahat lang ng may metal ha? Metal substituents. Basically, ito. Okay, continue lang. Five A, tapos five B point one lang muna. Kahit yun lang muna yung hanapin natin. Wait, I want.
Ayan. Lahat lang ng ano ha, metal substituents. Give their IUPAC also. Wala na yata bang hexane boost. Lagi ko lang bagay ko.
Next page number one. Okay. Sige. Puro metal lang muna yan, ha? B.2. Ilamba ilamba ilam ba itong na-drawing ko? Sa akin ay 1, 2, 3. Ilan na yung sa'yo so far? 15. 15. Ba? Sige, sige. Let me check kung bakit 15 later. Ilan na yan? Complete ka na. Please tell me if you're done, Joshua. Sige ba?
Doon na po lahat. Okay, let's check. Lahat na po tuloy ka rin. I think. Yung next huh? na longest yung magiging pentin na po. <laughs> sige, sige. We'll check. <clears throat> Ang meron ako ay two metal sorry, two metal heptane. Meron ka? Two metal heptane. Check. Oh, wow. Meron. Kita ko na. Tapos ang dalawa pong dalawa pong isang dalawa pong steel isang Okay. Wait lang. Uh, tapos 3 methyl heptane. 3 methyl heptane. 3 methyl. Yep. May 4 methyl kay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Meron din mo? Where? Hindi ko lang makita. Saan yung 3 methyl mo? 3 methyl heptane. Ito 4 methyl. Uwa ko. Ito. Ayan. Ah, hindi. Ako ay mag-green this time. Pangit. Bilaw ng ano. Ayan. Ito. 4 methyl. Uy, wala kang 3 methyl. Pero <laughs> Saan? Masa ko yung 3 metal? <laughs> wala. Inabol mo lang yan. Nakita ko yung kanina. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I-check ko, I na I ko naman yung mga ano mo eh. Yung lahat ng greenomic mo. Malay mo no, may hindi. May na-capture ka na hindi ko naman na-capture. So, so far, 2 points. 4 methyl. Okay. Tutu dimethyl hexane. Tutu dimethyl. Ayun, meron. Tutu dimethyl hexane. 2-3. 2-4-2. Okay, wait lang. So, 3 ka na. 0.5 each lang pala to. Ang dami nito pag tigo 1.5. 2-2 to dimethyl. Meron kang 2-3 dimethyl? Sabo. Dalawa pong ayun. Ayun. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Nakita ko nga. So, ayan. Saka dalawa pong stereoisomer yan. Bakit dalawa yung stereoisomers mo? Non-super non -super imposable mo. Oh, oh wait lang. 2,3 dimethyl. <coughs> Oy! Walang stereoisomer ang ano? Um, ah, ito. Correct, ito. Yan, yung, yung part lang na yan. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, two, three. Two, four. May two, four ka? Two, two, ano naman po yan? Two, Ayun, two, four. Ito. Stereo po ulit. Yeah. Okay. Two, May five. Two, two. Two, five. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, good. Ito. Then, three, three. Meron na ba? Nasa kabila. Tama ba? Hindi na ba? On the bottom left. Uh, yeah, nakita ko na. 3-3. Three, 3-4. Three. Three, three, Dalawa mong three isomer stands. Mm -hmm. Tapos. 3-4. Yung mga ethyl mo. Okay. 3 ethyl. Yung mo. 5. Ah, wait lang ha. Check ko muna kung 2, 2 ethyl. 2 ethyl hexane. Pag ganito, Josh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? No. Mo. This is basically 3 methyl heptane. Mm, okay. Di ba? Ah, wait a minute. So, does that mean na 3-methyl-heptane mo? Ayun nga, nakuha mo yung 3-methyl-heptane. <laughs> Ito yun. Pero mali yung name. 0.25 mo. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, I'll give you for... Ah, sige, 0.25. Ano, parang <laughs> nakuha rin po eventually. 3-methyl-heptane. Uh, uh, 2-ethyl, 3-ethyl-heptane. Uh, 
they have three. Ayun, nakuha, nakita ka na. Si FLXC. Good. Tapos, uh, 223 trimethyl pentane. Ito yun. Check. 224. 224. Correct. 233. 233. Ito mo? 233. Yung sinergal na mo? Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, 224. Correct. 223 for the last day rising. 233. 224. 223. Ito mo? Dalawa po stay rising. Ayun, 223. Okay, check. 223. 234. 234. 233. 234. This one. 234. Correct. 3-ethyl, uh, 2-methyl. Pentane. Okay, good. 3-ethyl, 2-methyl. Correct. 3-ethyl, 3-methyl. Correct. Then, 2, 2, 3, 3, tetrametylbutane. Wow! Nice! 23. Yeah. So, check ko lang ha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Mamaya na to. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 8 point, uh, 8 point 25. <laughs> Pero dahil binigay mo na rin yung mga ano no, yung mga steer isomers. I'll give you 0.5 per ano. Ito may steer isomer correct. So 0.5. Uh, yeah, assess ko muna kung may steer isomer ha. Actually ito Josh, yung 2 methyl heptane, wala tong steer isomers kasi parehas methyl group kagad yung ano eh. Pwede pa mag, mag-flip? Pwede. Kahit iikot-ikotin mo yan, ano pa rin siya? Uh, a chiral yan. So, dapat nga, o, oh, in-negate yan. Kasi, man-negate. So, oh, wala ka ng 0. 0.5. <laughs> 2, 4. Ang, de, ang mahalaga dito, makuha mo yung mga, nakuha mo yung mga nilista ko, which is correct. no So, over, ano pa rin naman yan eh? Over 8.5. Over 8.5. Tama ba ako? 1, 2, 3, Tama. 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. 8.5. Okay. Uh, dimethyl hexane. Yes. Kaya lang po yan. Kasi yung isa pong methyl. 2, 4. 2, 4 dimethyl. Ito. Ah, yes. This is chiral. 0.5 ka agad ito. 0.5. Ito. Yeah, uh, methyl. Okay, correct. Yeah. 0.5. Oh, so may 1 point ka nang natabi sa akin. <laughs> so sobra ka pa. Ayun lang. Wow. Plus 1. Last one. So you have yes, 9 point. Yes, the last one. 9.25 over 8.5 ka dito. Yung last point, yung last page po. Ah. Meron pa po. Asan? Ah, okay. Wait, let me check. Mas okay. di kaya rin. Meron nga po. Oh, meron. Ah, 0.5. So, plus 1.5 ka pala. <laughs> so, that will be over what? 9.75. 9.75. Wait, let me erase this too. Yeah. Record lang natin, ha? 9.75 over 8.5. Then I'll record it. Scroll in. 9.75 over 8.5. 5, ano yan, no? 5B. Right? Tama ba? 5B. Kasi 5A mo 6 over 6. <laughs> Ay, ho hindi, 0.5 lang din to. Translate. Yeah, to okay. okay lang yan. Puro isomers lang to eh. 3 out of 3 ka naman. Yan. 3 out of 3. Okay. 
So next meeting Josh dahil 7 oh 7:54 na noon. Sorry, uh nag ano tayo. Exceed ng time. Uh we'll meet for organic chemistry next week ulit. We'll just continue 5C uh the rest of uh the items for number 5. Tomorrow, tomorrow Josh wala ah. Wala muna ha. Rest tayo. Friday kita i-meet kasi holiday naman 'yon. Okay? Clear? Clear tayo Josh. Sa Friday kita imimit ha. Sa Friday, anakim ulit tayo. Pero 3 hours na siya. Okay? Just to compensate yung nawala natin yesterday. Clear? Babo. Okay, so we're good for tonight. See you on Friday, Josh. Thank you. Thank you lang po. Bye-bye po. Okay, nakabang.